and I found myself on the ground zero level of life. I looked for him and I'm glad I found him. Mm. Mr. Kingsley, the most important thing is that you were able to find him. Or is it that he was able to find you? You're welcome to the phone. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and have you been told anything about Ronke lately? Yes, yes. Um, while I was in prison, I heard that uh, she had been delivered of a baby girl. He told me. Yes. I told him to inform you. Um, that lady has been through a lot since that senseless phone you both had together the other day. Our whole life has been in a kind of storm which she has been able, unable to control. Her father has not been spiritually stable ever since. Uh, even our former fiancé has been unforgiving and we have tried everything up till now. Still, no success. I even learned that your own wife too... Ah, sir. The evil wind from that wasteful night blew against my wife also. My life is in complete disarray. She has packed out of our house and moved into a newly built duplex. She's now staying there with our children. <sighs> I've been stripped naked, bastard. Just because of a little unbridled enjoyment of one night, I messed up all I have ever worked for. I lost my home. I lost my job. I lost my marriage. Mm, yes, I lost my dignity. Mr. I lost my pride. Oh, oh no. Oh please. Mr. Kingsley. Please. It's okay. My 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 wife came up with all kinds of spurious allegations against me in addition to the pregnancy issue. She eventually succeeded in putting me behind the bars. Now, she has taken everything in my house and left, left an empty, an, an empty house for me. So, so, where do I move into now? Do I move into an empty house? Mr. Kingsley, now listen to me. When you gave your life to Jesus Christ, was it not because you could not mend your own broken lives? Now, don't you believe he could mend the life and bring back together again your shattered pieces? Don't you believe him? Yes. Yes, I do. Oh, then you will have to lay everything down at his feet and trust him absolutely. Mm. I will. Where do we start now? I don't know, sir. I don't know. Everything is all messed up. He created all things. He can clear the mess. Your wife first. Yes. My wife? Your wife. Where does she live? Wake me up. We gotta be prepared. Tell your friends. I don't have any friends. Well, who 
to be a lookout for you when you get old and your teeth are falling out. I'm an alien, so after you, look out. Look after myself. Good night, Mama. Good night. Sweet time. Don't let the bed bugs back. Creep into your ear and my eggs in your brain. Angela. Yes, Mom. Just go and check. There's someone on the feet. Okay. Hold on, please. Good evening, Clara. Yes, good evening. How may I help you? I am Pastor Anthony of Christ Revivals. Please do have your seat. Thank you. What can I do for you? Well, I am God's servant. Yeah, you said so. And he has sent me here to pray for you. The Lord sent you to me? But why? And what's the message? Do you have any prayer points? Angela, yes, well, this phone to the dining table with your brother. Uh, must be something I missed. Wait, a crack. That's it. Specific prayer point? Yeah, I guess everybody does. I have not been sent actually to everybody. I've been sent to you to pray on your specific needs. I am God's ambassador. Yeah. So let's have them, present them one after the other. Is that the only reason why you have come? Well, for now, yes. But who knows? You may ask me to come back again. All right. All right. There are many things, but the most important is about my family. Your family? Is that all? No. But the problem is my family, it's beginning to take its toll on my career. I am the West African Regional Director of the Iowa's Pharmaceuticals. is beginning to affect my work. I get so distracted and I lose concentration so easily. Mm -hmm. And that because of the problem in your family? Absolutely. So, I need peace. I need joy in my heart. My heart is so full and cloudy. Mm. So what would the first prayer point be? Oh, Pastor, you should be able to help me by making out something out of all I've said. Hmm. Madam, if the cup is dirty and the water is clean, can clean water be served out of a dirty cup? No. The cup has to be clean. It's got to be washed. Yeah. What, what does the parable stand for? It's about your heart, Mrs. My heart? My heart? What about it? You said the other time that your heart is full and cloudy, didn't you? Oh, yes. Full. Very full. Full of what, if I may ask? I don't know. My heart is just heavy and cloudy. Okay. If you just allow me to read a passage from the scriptures. Yes, please. Go ahead, Pastor. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 18 says that... Just a moment. But those things which proceed out of that mouth come forth from the heart and they defile the man for out of the heart proceed jealousies evil thoughts murders adulteries fornications thefts false witness 
blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. Evil thought, murder, adultery, false witness. Yeah, and hatred, bitterness, envy. You know, all these things, they defile a man. They defile a man? Yeah, they make the cup dirty, that he may not serve any clean water. There you go again, Pastor. Parables and, and parables. See, no matter how you try, Mrs. Once your heart is full of dirt with some of these things, you cannot please God and you cannot